Welcome to your end of year guide. This guide is for admins who used Clever to roster this year and plan to roster with ClassLink next year, or vice versa. End your year in six steps. Pause your sync, connect with Seesaw support, disable sharing, archive classes, archive student accounts, and then request Seesaw in Clever or ClassLink. Before we get started, make sure you're signed in to your Seesaw for Schools admin account. If you're a district admin, you'll need to complete the following steps for all schools in your district. Access each school's dashboard by tapping on the school name on your district dashboard. Step 1. Pause your sync district-wide. Pausing your sync in Seesaw ensures your data is not archived or changed before you are ready. Navigate to your Seesaw District Dashboard and tap Manage Roster Sync. Tap Pause Nightly Sync to pause the sync between Clever or ClassLink and Seesaw. That's it! Your sync is paused. Next, connect with Seesaw Support. Write in to Seesaw Support and request they remove Clever or ClassLink IDs for classes, users, and schools. Wait until Seesaw Support has confirmed this step before moving on. Removing the IDs will remove any connection to Clever or ClassLink that the existing accounts and classes have. This step is vital to the success of future rostering and class enrollment management. Once Seesaw Support has removed Clever or ClassLink IDs, you can disable sharing. Please wait until Seesaw has confirmed this step is complete. Once confirmed, you can disable the connection between Clever or ClassLink and Seesaw. Clever users, sign into your Clever admin account. Tap Seesaw, the arrow on the top right, then Disconnect app. ClassLink users, sign into your ClassLink admin account, right click on the Seesaw app, then click Remove app. Note that disabling the connection does not archive active classes. Teachers and students can continue using existing classes in Seesaw. Now that you have disabled the connection between Clever or ClassLink in Seesaw, you can bulk archive classes to ensure you have accurate analytics and ensure students are able to easily toggle in and out of next year's classes instead of posting work in their previous year's classes. On your school dashboard under Admin Tools, tap Archive Old Classes. Select a date to archive classes created before that date. We recommend choosing the last day of school or the day you plan to archive classes in order to capture all of the classes that were created before that date. Tap Archive Classes and you're done! Once you archive classes, you can bulk archive student accounts. You need to first archive classes because you won't be able to archive students if they are enrolled in an active class. Archiving student accounts will ensure you have accurate analytics and billing. On your school dashboard under Admin Tools, tap Archive Student Accounts. Seesaw will tell you exactly how many students are going to be archived. Tap Archive Old Student Accounts to continue. Don't worry. Archiving student accounts does not automatically delete them. No data will be deleted without your knowledge. Archive students will still be in your dashboard, but they will not be taking up licenses. You can restore them at any time. Once you tap Archive Accounts, you're all done! To get ready for the new school year, you need to request CISA in Clever or ClassLink. Sign in to your new Clever or ClassLink admin account. Clever users, Click Applications, then Add Application. Search for Seesaw and follow the prompts. ClassLink users, install Roster Server. It's a different app than the SSO app. ClassLink Roster Server makes one roster format data available to Seesaw and is where you configure your sharing roles. The last step is to write in to Seesaw Support to let our team know you need your district dashboard connected to Clever or ClassLink. And that's it! In six steps, you've set yourself up for a smooth back to school with Seesaw. At the start of next school year, you will complete all setup steps, including completing a full sync. Don't worry, we'll walk you through how to do it. Find setup steps and resources here. 
we recommend bookmarking this page for quick access. Thanks for joining us today. See you again soon.